How to create the selective color effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are multiple ways to do this, uh, multiple effects, multiple things you can do to achieve this effect. There's a very effective and quick method with the Lumetri color panel, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, so here's our clip. And when we head over to the Lumetri color panel, by the way, if you don't see the Lumetri color panel, head over to window and activate the Lumetri color panel. And within the panel, you have a couple of tabs. And what we're gonna use is the curves tab. Ignore the basic correction and creative, go to curves. And within the curves tab, you see this twirled open already. When I close it, there's this hue saturation curves sub tab. I don't know, is it called sub tab, sub menu? And when you twirl that open, you see all bunch of panels here. And these are really powerful. When you master these, there's really a lot you can do. I mean, again, this effect can be done in a lot of ways. Of course, you can go very deep with secondary masks and keys and all these things. But th these tabs here, hue saturation curves are really, really powerful. I don't see a lot of tutorials utilizing these. In this case, we're gonna use this hue versus saturation tab. And watch what it does. When I choose an eyedropper, and with this eyedropper, I can select the color range within our canvas. And when I click on this dress and this red dress here, see what it does? It actually selects the color range of this red dress. This actually is like when I change this now, it will change the color of the dress, but that's not what we want. Let's go back because that's actually the second step. What you wanna do first is click and drag this line all the way to the bottom. And look what it does. It actually desaturates the whole image. Okay, that's our first step because we want a selective color effect, okay? And we wanna bring back only that dress. Now watch this. When you click on the eyedropper, Premiere Pro still understands the color value of this video. Now when I click on this dress, have a look at on this right side here. When I click on this dress, it still creates this color range, okay? And now take the middle point and drag it all the way back up. And now this, this color comes back. And when we now play this, that's basically it. That's our selective color effect. Super easy to do. And you've seen, again, you've seen this many times in documentaries and movies, and there's many ways to do this. But this is like in the Lumetri color panel under curves, this hue saturation curve submenu with the hue versus saturation panel here is very, very powerful. Of course, I can select multiple colors when I, take this eyedropper and then click on this trees. Look, it brings in this other color range. There's uh, multiple ranges that you can bring back, but for this quick selective color effect, that's a very quick and easy way to do in Premiere Pro. So that's how to create the selective color effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button, which is going to help me promote this channel and help the YouTube algorithm understand that you appreciate this video. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.